Hey, welcome back YouTube. My name is Mike Schwartz. In this Ninja Trader tutorial series, I'm gonna share with you guys how to adjust the margins on your chart. Now, in a previous video, I shared with you guys how to adjust the right side margin. However, within the last three weeks, I just learned a new tip from Vinny. So a big shout out to Vinny. He is the creator of Algabox. If you guys wanna learn more about Algabox, I would encourage you to join their free Discord room. It's the first link in the description box down below, and you can learn great tips like this as well. I've been using Ninja trader for a very long time and I did not know how to adjust the upper and lower margins now just as a little refresher real quick if we right click on the chart and we go to properties you can see right here it says right side margin and we've discussed this in the past if I put this to zero you can see that essentially when I click this over price is gonna be right there on the right edge of the screen and it makes it extremely challenging to try to trade the, the market when price is sitting there right there by the price axis. So again, that's why we adjust that. Now, on the right side margin, I like mine set to about 50. And you can see when I hit okay, it spaces it, it spaces it to the left from that right price axis. Now, before I go ahead and, and share with you guys how to adjust the upper and lower margins, I do wanna remind you guys, if you wanna learn more Ninja Trader tutorial tips, There'll be a link in the top right hand corner of your screen, which will take you to a Ninja Trader playlist. That same um, playlist can also be found down in the description box down below. Now, if we right click right here on the price scale on the right hand side, and we, or I'm sorry, if we left click it, you can see we can scrunch up the chart manually or we can expand the chart out as big as we want it. Now, once we start moving this around, you'll see this F button up here, this fix it button. This is gonna be important here in just a few moments. I'm gonna go ahead and click that F, the, the fix it button right now. Now I can right click within this price area on the chart, come over here to properties, and right now I have my margins set at six. But if I set them at zero and we click okay, you can see price is touching the very bottom up here. The wicks of the candles kind of get, you know, hidden up here with the text up here and if you have any other widgets or anything up here you know it can really start to make it a little bit more challenging for you to see what's up above and just try to see where the wicks are it gets a little bit clustered so again it's handy to have a little bit of extra space so again i'm going to right click on this price axis I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna set them back to six. And most people are probably gonna find the comfort zone somewhere between five and 15. I personally like it about six. I'm gonna click apply. Now you can see we have a little bit of a space right down here. However, I do, this is gonna be a big, big tip right here. If we scale this right here and you see this fix it button up here, the F button right here, see I just clicked it. So if this button is highlighted and we right click on the price axis, I'm gonna go to properties you are not gonna see where it says adjust upper or lower margins. Again, that is gonna be critical if you wanna be able to adjust those upper and lower margins. If you're sick of seeing price, getting caught up in some of the text up here, then again, you can go over and adjust your margins, all right? Very simple tick, uh, very simple um, tip, but very, very useful. Like always, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, good luck and good trading.